use precast moldings to cap walls. In this case, instead of using precast molding, we're going to use foam negative for the cap in concrete. Here's the way it works. We form the tie beam the same way that we would as we were going to do the wall straight. Then we add a negative piece of foam on both sides, tie it together, glue it with some nickel nails, and when we pour the top tie beam, it's going to have that detail. I'll show you now. Now, now when we pour the tie beam in concrete, the detail is going to match up with this one. This is going to be a lot more durable than a precast uh, coping on it. Uh, a precast coping will have to come in sections, so you'll have route lines at every certain amount of feet. Uh, this way we'll have a continuous concrete cap on the entire wall. And we're going to match up to this existing detail. Notice how we brace the formwork about 18 inches apart. This is so when we pour concrete, the weight of it won't expand the forms and we'll get a straight edge all the way along the wall. Now we're removing the first piece of formwork and we're going to see how our final product came out. A good way to removing the foam also is to spray it with acetone or gasoline. Uh, acetone obviously is not as flammable and is easier to clean off, so it would be probably the best choice. As you can see now, we're exposing the molding by taking off the foam carefully so that we don't scratch our finish. As you can see, after we stop, we remove the rest of the foam, we'll have a continuous coping along the whole wall. This is the final product.